history it was 18 1884 was that first residential school opening people will talk about residential schools but we forget about also how were we were treated outside of those schools the healing couldn't happen non-first nations until you picked up this knowledge with us the healing is taking a huge turn because not only our people are learning our history but people outside of our community are learning our history now and accepting it that allows us to pick our head up when we're outside of our community that allows us to look at you in the eye with pride when we know you're learning it too this move here with our wolves our tuquana is just the beginning the leaders in sight, Sisha'at, want to learn how to take care of our families, our youth, our elders, our women, our children, our babies, ourselves. I'd like to acknowledge again all of you for being here in the cold and the wind. Uh, standing with Sisha'at, if every uh, Sisha'at could stand up for a moment, any of you that are Sisha'at, I want you to stand up for a second. It took all of our community to come together to make today possible. There are so many people that contributed today in each and every way that you couldn't imagine. Uh, and I, I think it's important that all of you stand proud on this site, that all of us come together at Sisha on Tukwatkwis to stand together as one. And I think it's important, I want to acknowledge all of you for coming here, but I also want everybody else to see this, this is, this is the, the community, the Mashim of our Hatwaya. And I think it's important to acknowledge all of them who made today possible as well. So thank you all of our community for standing with us today and helping organize today. We've seen our culture adapt. We've had to adapt since contact. Since the, as was mentioned, when the first boats came ashore here, firing cannons at our people, from that very moment until today, we've had to adapt our culture. We've had to adapt, not just due to the Paw Lodge ban and not just due to residential schools, uh, but even through modern times, living through a pandemic is very difficult in a cultural way. When, when in our culture, if somebody passes, we sit there with the family, and we weren't able to do that for the past several years. This is one of the first events that Sishot hosted at a scale like this since the pandemic. It's one of the first large events of New Channel for us to come together. And I think it shows the resilience of who we are and where we come from. But I want to thank you all from the bottom of our hearts on behalf of all of Sishot for helping bring us back here to our home, to our home and be able to sing our songs and dance and unveil this amazing moment I think we're about to feel as, as, uh, as a people. To, to connect back here to the squad tour. So once again, on behalf of all of Tishat Muschim, there's over 1,200 of us. On behalf of our Hotwaya and all of our elected council, we say welcome, welcome to the Quest. Two. Thank you. Thank The drum beats with pride, feasting on delicacies from near and wide. Readying our people to care for our land in a spiritual way from our elders' guiding hand. A Tukwana celebration lasts a week or two with a howlet's blessing on the things to do. The wolves capture the initiated ones to bless to be blessed with power under darkness and sun. Taken to their house to learn ceremonial rites, practice properly for a successful flight. With this initiation, you receive gifts of wealth, a howl's blessing with good health. Thank you for everybody.
guys are coming out and witnessing the reawakening of our Kukwana. Thank you.